Hey guys, welcome to Art2. If you're new to the channel, this channel is about helping you sell your art online. And in today's video, I'm talking about cleaning up your Redbubble store. Maybe it's been a while since you uploaded a few designs that maybe are now dated and aren't really selling. And maybe you want to make it look fresh and exciting again. So usually by the end of the year, I try to clean up my store and make sure that I don't have anything dated. Maybe there was something that was trending in 2018 that uh, I had the actual date 2018 in it and is no longer valid. Who wants to buy something that says 2018 on it? So I will delete those from my store and create new things. Or, or sometimes I will switch out the date and put in the current date if it's something that's still valid in today's marketplace. But if it's something that happened in 2018 and nobody's really looking for it anymore, some of those trending items, you need to remove it from your store. You don't need them in there anymore and it's just clutter. And when people come to look at your store, if they find you through search, they're just going to see a bunch of stuff there that's random and that doesn't really apply to what they came looking for. But if you have things that are consistent and neat and the store looks great, it always attracts people to kind of scroll through and see what other things you've created. So trending things are usually a problem when it comes to uh, the shop and people going into your shop on Redbubble because you have a lot of things in there that should be cleaned out as these trends phase out and nobody's looking for that anymore. So I always tell you guys to keep uploading and upload as much stuff as you possibly can to print on demand websites because the more people uh, find your stuff, the better chances you are going to get a sale. But sometimes there are just some things that you need to let go and clean, just like in anything in life. And I was doing my audit this year and I'm looking at uh, some of the things that I could change. So I've deleted a whole bunch of things that are no longer applicable. I've changed things out. And I'm thinking of creating maybe a new logo or a new banner that I can uh, add to the shop, clean things up for 2022, and also start thinking of how I'm planning the uh, business for next year. And I do that with Redbubble and a few of the other platforms that I'm on because I want to make sure that I'm consistent across all the different sites that I sell on and that I have the same type or same type of look uh, on these sites. So with print on demand, you do have to go in every once in a while and clean up your shop and make things fresh again. Another thing that you want to do too at the end of the year is just make sure that uh, you're starting to prepare for the new year, that you have everything that you're going to uh, upload for the different seasons available to you and that you're ready to go when the time comes. So I'm recording this at the end of October. But normally I would start planning out for Valentine's Day, which is in February, because I want to be indexed in search and have Google find uh, my results and also to be indexed in the Redbubble platform. They take a little bit of time sometimes to add you in. So if you start planning ahead and adding the things that you want to have for those holidays now, you're better off uh, getting searched. The time comes that people are going to be able to find your work. So it's a little bit of house cleaning. It's this time of the year when I do the house cleaning of my shops and I go through all the different websites, Redbubble specifically, because that's where most of the traffic comes from and most of my sales. So I do like to keep that nice and tidy. And I hope that this helps you guys, that uh, it makes you think about your shop in general and having that appearance of a professional uh, when you go into your shop, when people look at it, that it's the thing that you're proud of. So if you like today's content, I hope you can hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video goes up. And if you hit the like button, you really help us get found in the YouTube algorithm. So until the next video, guys, have a great day and we'll see you soon.